guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited about today's video because when I'm back on my YouTube. <laughs> Sorry, I've been gone so long. I have some very exciting announcements that will come at a later date. But for now, I'm back with a Baker book haul from my birthday trip in July. Hmm. Hmm. So if you follow me on Instagram or any of my other lovely ladies that I'm about to talk about, or even if you're subscribed here and you watched my last video, I had two of my greatest friends here for my 21st birthday in July. And of course, we had to go to Baker Bookhouse since it would be illegal, I'm pretty sure, if I didn't take them considering I'm so close. So I'm going to go ahead and go over the haul that I brought home and yeah, we can drill over the books together. Here we go. <laughs> so the first thing I got actually isn't a book, but if you did watch the last video I posted, which I will link up here and also in my description, there is something that I collect and I saw this thing at Baker. And it's one I had never seen before, and then since I bought it, I've seen it everywhere, but that's besides the point. I went ahead and got it there because it was just too pretty to pass up, and it's perfect for my room. And it is this beautiful willow tree figurine. I absolutely adore this one so much. So pretty. She's got, like, these wire flowers, and this one is grateful. And I just love her so much. She sits on the top of my bookshelf, and... I love her. The first book I got is Age Before Beauty and this is book two in the Sister to Sister series by Virginia Smith. I read book one years ago and I wanted to read the second and third books but could never find them and I actually found the third one forever ago on Facebook and I mean I had to have the complete series so when I found this one for a couple dollars you're gone. <laughs> so now I finished up the series and I'm very excited. The next one I have is A Rebel Heart and this is book one in the Daughtry House series by Beth White. I had this book before but it was a matte copy and I'm sure I will go into that at some point in another video but I despise matte books like I just I don't like that texture so when I found this one for a couple dollars I bought it because I wanted to replace the copy that I have. The next book I have is Out of the Ashes by Tracy Peterson and Kimberly Woodhouse. And this is book two in their Heart of Alaska series. Ironically, it's a map book. <laughs> but this one doesn't bother me too much. I mean, it weirds me out because I don't think books should be matte. But again, Alicia, rabbit hole, we will talk about that later. But... I got this one because I needed to finish off the series. The next one I have is To Honor and Trust by Tracy Peterson and Judith Miller. And this is book three in Bridal Veil Island series. I have been looking for this book for years. I'm telling you, years. And I kept seeing book one and two over and over and over again, but never book three. And when I did find it, it was like 12 or $13. I'm like, I don't know. But when I found this one in pretty much perfect condition, I didn't even give anybody else a chance to grab it. Not that I think anybody I was with would have, but I didn't give them a chance to. It was mine. I called dibs. <laughs> the next two books are book one and two in a series, and I already have the third one, so this finishes it off. And they are Treasured Grace and Beloved Hope by Tracy Peterson, and these are the Heart of the Frontier series. So pretty. I love the color scheme they chose for these books. I'm sure, again, it's another topic I can use for another video, but I'll, like, briefly touch on it here. I am trying to collect all of Tracy Peterson's books, so anytime that I see them, I normally try to pick them up. So that leaves me with a lot of unfinished series sitting on my shelves by her, so I'm always trying to finish them off. <laughs> the next book I got is Bread of Angels by Tessa Afshar. This is a beautiful hardcover book, and I have Land of Silence in hardcover, so when I found this one for $10, I bought it because I needed it. Then I got Like Flames in the Night by Connie Lynn Cassette. This is book four in her City Cities of Refuge series. It came out earlier this year and I hadn't gotten it yet for some reason. So again, I had to finish the series and also I was with 
Jenna Van Maurick, the queen of biblical fiction, and I thought she might strangle me if I didn't leave with a Connie Lynn cassette book because if you haven't watched her videos, you know the lady has some very strong feelings about Connie. So, I had to. And the last book that I bought was Air of Hope by Morgan L. Bussey? Busey? I should probably figure that out before I start saying things. Anywho, this is book three in her Follower of the Word series. This is the first series that she wrote and she wrote it with Enclave Publishing back in 2015. So this was the first book she wrote and it was really, really hard to find for a while because Enclave stopped printing these books for a little bit. Um, and you could find book one and two on Amazon, no problem, but book three was really, really hard to find. So when I found this one, it was the only one they had at Baker, last one on the shelf, they only had book three by her. I squealed a little. So I bought it and then came home and that same day I bought, actually I think it was in the car on the way home, I bought books one and two so that they would be to my house a couple days later. So now I have the complete series and as of now, I have all of Morgan's books. You know, it's a little bit of a compulsion that if I read one book by an author, I buy all of their stuff. Anywho. <laughs> Those were the books that I got from Baker for my birthday haul, which I loved. I could have done way more damage than I did, but I was very good, and Audrey and Jenna helped me as well. So thank you guys for making sure that I wasn't completely broke by the time I left there. Just, just partially broke. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I got for my birthday. Let me know in the comments below if you could get one book for your birthday, what would it be, and what do you collect if you collect anything other than books. <laughs> Don't forget you can check out my blog for the love of Christian fiction .blogspot.com. You can also check out my Instagram, which is for the love of Christian fiction, and all my other links are in the description box below. I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.